Have you ever wondered if it's possible to live life without limitations and to be in constant peace? Well, the answer actually is yes. And I'm going to share with you an audiobook that I just finished listening to called The Untethered Soul at Work by Michael A. Singer. Today, I'm going to give you my best takeaways that I have gotten from The Untethered Soul at Work that I would like to share with you. Powerful stuff so that you can live the best life that you are meant to live. And if you stay tuned to this end of this video, I am gonna give you a guide on some additional mindfulness techniques that are gonna help you at work. So take those tips along with these in this video from Michael A. Singer, and I promise you, you'll be connected to who you are and what you need to do in life. Hi, I'm Adriana Girdler, a productivity specialist with over 20 plus years in the business. Most people know of Michael Singer as a spiritual teacher, but perhaps you didn't know he actually was a founder and a CEO of a billion dollar company. So he is an amazing expert when it comes to mindfulness, spirituality, and business. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the techniques he highly recommends for you to do at work so you can be more mindful and ideally more spiritual, ensuring that you are connected to who you are and really doing a great job at work. The Untethered Soul at Work Summarized. This audiobook, The Untethered Soul at Work, is based on the premise that we view work from a vantage point of it's all about me. So what do I mean by that? It's I work in order to travel. I work in order to get this thing. I work in order to prove myself. I work in order to get that promotion. When in reality, it's not about me or you at all. It is about serving and contributing to a greater good, really the unfolding of the universe. And as a result, it's not about us. So we have to do a reset on how we view work. And as a result of that reset, that's going to help us to always use work as a practice ground to get closer to mindfulness, really to get closer to spirituality. If we have problems with work, it's not about work. It's really our attitude. It's how we view things. We have this mental dialogue going in our head, basically saying we are not okay. And as a result of that, it's because of the fear that we have. It's the stories we bring into work that is actually creating an environment at work which is counterproductive to who we are as individuals. We're really spiritual beings who are meant to connect and serve, not to be focused on our ego, trying to get what we want out of it. Why? Because it's about the universe. It's unfolding. It is greater than who we are. And if we are looking to control it by focusing on what it can do for me, we're missing out on the bigger purpose, which is for us to be practicing to be closer to spirituality, to be closer to our souls. And this is what this book teaches you some techniques that you can do every day to help you practice so you can live in purpose, you can live in peace, and that you are not having those dialogues with yourself that is creating really some very destructive behavior that you may have or you may see people around you have. So let's get to some of the amazing tips and techniques that Michael Singer gives in his audiobook. The Untethered Email. Michael Singer actually looks at emails in a way that can come from a very mindful practice and a spiritual practice. And here is what he recommends in order to do with emails. Whenever you want to send an email, really think of where it's coming from. Is it coming from your lower personal self, that is your ego, where you're maybe upset about something, you just want to kind of dump on somebody? What he's recommending here, bringing a mindfulness and spirituality to work, is to really have an understanding is, where is my content that I want to write in this email coming from? Is it truly legit? Because there are some times that things are legit. So he's asking, number one, ground yourself. Really understand, come from center, connect back to the universe. This is the spiritual side of things. And really understand what is it you're trying to say. When you've analyzed it, number two is take out the garbage. Take out the personal stuff, because it's not about that. Work is about serving and contributing, but doing it in a loving, respectful way. And so really take a look, because you may have to send an email that has some bad news in it. That's okay. But you want to do it in a way that is done from a higher self. Number three is really reread it. You want to be mindful with what you're doing. Just don't send it out. Make sure you have the right attachments. Make sure you have the right verbiage. Take a moment, a breath, to reread what you're saying. Does it make sense? The biggest thing is, if what you just put down on paper got printed on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, would you be happy with what it said? Because emails are forever. 
it's not a conversation that you're having that is gonna go away as soon as you finish your words. It is there forever. So you really wanna be mindful with what you're writing. Untethered interactions. So in this audio book, there's some very specific interactions that happen at work that Michael Singer recommends that you take a look at it from a mindful, spiritual perspective. And the first one is when you arrive at work. So when you arrive at work, just take a moment before you go inside and really ground and connect with yourself. Remember, it's not about getting something done. It is about serving and ensuring that you're doing the best job that you can do. So get grounded, get in a state of mindfulness before you even go into the building. Opening the door. Whenever you open the door, take this as a moment to really think inwardly and be very clear with what your intention is for the next step. Perhaps you're walking through a threshold for a meeting. Get really clear, have the intention whenever you're walking through any doorway. Answering the phone. Answering the phone, particularly when you know that someone asks, hey, I need to really speak to you, I'm gonna call you in an hour, can get stressful. So the point here is, is to let it go. Understand why you're even getting stressed in these situations. You can't control it. You're just a person who's about to answer the phone. Embrace that moment so you can learn from it. Let go of any fear that's stopping you or creating a story that is going to have potentially ne negative impact on a conversation that you have no clue what it's even about as of yet. So let it go, answer the phone, and really just be at peace knowing I'm just here answering the phone, no big deal. Talking to someone. Now this is a very interesting one because a lot of times when we're speaking to people, we actually are not connecting with them. And particularly if we're on the receiving end and we're listening, we're truly not listening. You know what we're doing? We're formulating our answer back or we're trying to interpret what they're saying to us from our interpretation versus just letting it be, letting it go. Really focus on listening to what the person is saying. Everybody comes up with different ideas and thought processes. Why? Because we're all unique and different. And that's what you want at work. You want to embrace the differences because there's going to be amazing ideas. But in order to do that, you have to listen. So when you're talking to someone, really take a moment and clear your head. Let go of what's going on. Don't try to come up with an amazing answer because you're not listening to what is being said you may find that what they just said is either A, the answer to a problem that you are having, an amazing strategic solution, or is gonna add tons of value to something that already exists. That is our job to serve and contribute at work. And that's part of the spiritual practice that we're supposed to bring into work to help us every day practice listening to each other. The untethered project. So how do we make projects more mindful? How do we make it more spiritual? Well, it's not about the project per se, it's how we look at the project and how we actually go about defining it. Now, there are times with projects you don't have very clear statements of what you're supposed to do. In fact, they're very loosey-goosey. And a lot of times what people do is they just go ahead and start doing things. But when we're connected, we're mindful, we're connected spiritual to things greater than us, we wanna start going inward. That whole grounding piece, that whole letting go piece, realizing that first we don't have the answers and that's okay. But to really come across with, well, what is it that we wanna do? Bring a group together, your team, be creative. Creativity is a natural process that we all have. We just really tuck it away and we think we're not creative. But being more spiritual at work allows us to really impact and use that creativity. And the best way to do this for projects that you're trying to define and answer and know what to do is think of it from a min and a max, max perspective. So if we could do anything we want with this project, what would it be? Allow for the creative juices to flow, don't judge it, and come up with everything that you can potentially do. Now, from a min perspective, what is it that we want with this project? Think of everything from a min. Again, don't judge. And now what you do is you start to bring those pieces of information to the middle. And what you're going to find is you're gonna create the statement for the project as to how and what you need to do to move forward. And guess what? Everyone did it in a way that was respectful, creative, fun. Again, bringing that mindfulness to work, but connecting everyone spiritually too, because why are we at work? To serve and contribute. Now that you know some of the big takeaways from Michael Singer's audiobook, The Untethered Soul at Work, 
I'm gonna give you a takeaway here. And this is an amazing guide on some additional mindfulness techniques that you can get by clicking on the link below. That being said, I really do highly recommend that you listen to his audiobook. It is short, but powerful, impactful. On that note, I wanna thank you. Can you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with all the people that you know. And if you have ways that you bring spirituality and mindfulness to work, I would love to hear it. Please share in the comments below. Until the next video, see you.